Hi everyone, my name is Anagaha and I'm part of the data science discovery team and in this video today we're going to be doing a question on uh, data frame filtering as well as grouping. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we're dealing with the total number of applicants for each major and if you did the uh, total number of accepted applicants for each major question, this is going to be really similar uh, except here we're just dealing with the total number of applications, not necessarily those who are only accepted. So here it says write the Python code to calculate the total number of applications for each major and store it in the column applicants. Your solution must include only a single row for each major, right? So each row must contain a major. So for example, row one will be major A, row two will be major B, and so on, and an applicants variable, which is a column. You can have extra columns if needed. So I think here there's basically two steps that we need to do, right? The first step is, um, well, first let's just go ahead and see what our data frame even looks like, right? And um, I know here's, there's a columns here, but it's always helpful to kind of see what the data frame looks like. And here we have each row represents basically an applicant along with the year, their major, their gender, and their admission decision. So here, we don't really care about whether they were accepted or not. We just want to find the total number of applications for each major. So for example, major C, it would be like 500 applications. Major B would be like 200 applications. So kind of an easy way, an easy way on how to approach this question is to think how you would do it if you were doing it like manually. Like if you had an entire data frame and you had to count up the total number of applications for each major, how would you do that? Well, you would see like the major and, and keep like a, a counting, keep like a tally or like a track of how many people belong to that major, regardless of their gender or admission decision or year, right? So I would keep like a count of basically the the number of applications I see for each major. So for example, whenever I see like a major A, I would like add one to that count. Whenever I see a major B, I would add one to my count for a major B. And that's kind of a similar approach to what we're going to code here, right? So the first thing to do here is basically we want to group our data frame, right? Because our data frame contains all of these different applicants, but we just want one row that represents each major. So we want to group by major, right? Because we want each row to contain one major, right? So for example, row zero should contain major A, row one should contain major B, and so on. If it said that each row must contain like a gender, then we would have to group by gender. But here we want to group by major, and what do we want to aggregate by? Like, how are we going to group all these things? Are we going to count them all up? Are we going to sum up all their values? Are we going to find the mean of all their values? Well, we just want the total number of applications for each major. And similar to kind of our manual approach of basically counting up how many rows we see for each major, that's the similar approach here. We want to aggregate by count because each row that we see, we want to just go ahead and each row that belongs in each major, we just want to count up how many rows belong to that specific major. We don't want to sum anything, right? It wouldn't even make sense to sum anything in this case. How can we sum up years uh, for each major, right? It wouldn't make sense to sum up genders or admissions either, because those are strings anyways. And it wouldn't make sense to take the mean of anything, right? What would we even take the mean of? It doesn't say to take the mean of anything. Um, and it doesn't make sense to take the mean of the year, right? You're just gonna get 1973 because it was the same year. Uh, so here, it would just be by count. And then finally, step two would be to create this new column that they want, which is applicants. So create new column applicants, which basically conveys this information of the total number of applications. So let's go ahead and group my major first. And I mean, it doesn't say that you need to call this data frame anything, but I'm just going to use DF applicants because that's what the starter code gave me. So I'll just go ahead and call my grouped data frame DF applicants equals DF dot group by, right? We're grouping the original data frame, this original data frame. And what are we grouping by? Well, it's going to be major, right? Because we want each row to contain one major. And we want to aggregate by account. Now, let's say you were confused on the problem and maybe thought, okay, I'm going to aggregate by sum instead. Well, that's okay. You can put sum here and print out what your data frame looks like. 
if I aggregate by sum, which is incorrect, but let's say I you know, initially thought I had to aggregate by sum. This is what your data frame will look like. And this is why it's very important after each single thing you do, you wanna output your data frame and see what it looks like. Right away, I can see that I wanna find the total number of applications for each major. But when I use df.groupbymajor and aggregating by sum, what I'm doing is that basically for each row that is in each major, I'm just summing up all the values in the columns. So that's why we see only one column here because that's the only numerical column that we can even sum up, right? Because we're grouping by major and it doesn't make sense to sum up string variables in gender and admission. So year will be the only column there. And when we sum up all the years, we're basically, for every single row that we find, for example, for major A, we're just summing up 1973 plus 1973 plus 1973 because this data set is only from 1973. And same for major B, whenever I see like a row from major B, I'm basically just summing up all the year values, which really does not make sense here at all because we wanna count the total number of applications for each major. We don't care about, I don't know, the sum of all the years that all these people applied to, right? So if I go ahead and use count instead, I would see something that makes a lot more sense because first of all, why do I have three columns here? Because for major A, it just shows the total number of rows that basically belonged to major A. We don't care about the actual content in any of the year, gender, or admission columns. We just care about how many rows even belonged in each of these specific majors. So like kind of like that manual approach, we're just keeping a tally of how many rows we see that belong to each group, which is basically each major here. So for example, for major A, there were 1246 total rows that belonged to major A. And these contained both accepted and rejected students. For major B, there were 585 total rows, major C, 918, and so on. So this makes sense because for each column, it doesn't matter what the actual value was because we're just counting up how many rows belong to each major, which is why all these values are the same for each column because there's, for each major, it's gonna be, you know, these were the total rows that belonged to that major. So we have these uh, you know, total number of applications for each major. Now we just want to store it in the column applicants. So we want to do DF applicants, create a new column called applicants, which is equal to the total number of applications for each major. And we can see here for major A, there's 1246 total applicants, right? For major B, there's 585, for C, 918, and so on. How am I getting all this information? Well, I'm just seeing from you know, the year column, the gender column, or the admission column, doesn't matter because for each major it contains the same information. So I just wanna create basically this new column called applicants that is equal to whatever information is in, you know, year, gender, or admission. Really doesn't matter what, um, what column you use. And again, you don't wanna use DF, you wanna use DF applicants, right? Because our DF is our original data frame. This data frame here is our DF applicants. Uh, variable which we called it so we want to make sure we're consistent with these names because we want to see the total number of applications from the year gender and admission column which are all in the df applicants data frame right that's the one where we did this whole group by statement so let's say i want to use the year column and now i just want to go ahead and print out df applicants and now i basically have this new column called applicants which contains my total number of applications for each major. Now let's say instead of year, I can use gender. Well, it's gonna be the same thing. I can use admission, it's also gonna be the same thing because these three columns contain the same information for each major, right? It's 585 all throughout, it's 918 all throughout because when we aggregate by count, we are basically counting up each row that belongs, counting up all the rows that belong in each major. So for major A, there were 1246 total rows that belong to major A, which means there's 1246 total applications that belong to major A, because each row was an application in our data frame. So here, uh, I believe we answered all parts of the question, calculate total number of applications for each major, store, store it in the column applicants, and when we go ahead and turn this in, we um, pass all the test cases, which makes sense because we did what the question asked. Well, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.